Hello doctors, today we are going to discuss about the nitrazine test. So this test is performed in order to check the amniotic fluid, okay. If there is premature rupture of the membrane, if the amniotic fluid is leaking out from the cervix and vagina, then we can take the sample, we can check by different tests. So one of the tests that is nitrazine test. So what uh, this book say? This is a book from uh, that is uh, Beckman's and Link and Ecology. You can also visit this and we can study from there. The nitrazine test use uses the pH to distinguish the amniotic fluid from the urine and vaginal secretion. Amniotic fluid is alkaline having the pH above 7.1. Vaginal secretion having the pH 4.5 to 6 and the urine has a pH of less than 6. To perform the nitrazine test, a sample of the fluid obtained from the vagina during the speculum examination is placed on the stripe of the paper or sweep impregnated with nitrazine. If the pH is 7.1 to 7.3, reflecting that of the amniotic fluid, the paper or the sweep turns dark blue. Cervical mucus, blood and semen are possible causes of false positive result. So nitrazine test, uh, it is a test uh, uh, which is performed in order to check in the pH of the fluid. We can take the sample from the vagina and cervix. If there is no amniotic fluid, then definitely there will be the acidic uh, pH. The pH uh, will be acidic because uh, normally the vaginal secretions, okay, the vaginal pH is uh, acidic. So uh, if there is no discharge of the uh, if there is no rupture of the amniotic fluid, okay, then uh, there will, if there is no amniotic fluid, then the pH uh, will be according to the normal pH of the vagina secretion. But if there is secretion or there is a rupture of the membrane and the fluid is leaking and uh, into the sample which uh, we will take from the vagina or the cervix, uh, if the pH is in between 7.1 and 7.3 and it's alkaline pH then we can think about that uh, there is leakage or rupture of the uh, amniotic membrane. So there are two uh, results that is false positive and false negative. False positive means there is no rupture of membrane the pH is acidic okay and false negative means there is some sample of the fluid there is a rupture of the amniotic membrane. So what are the conditions in which we can see the false positive? That the basic urine, the urine is okay, it is a little bit six, uh, less than 6 pH. Semen, cervical mucus, blood contaminations, some antiseptic solutions or vaginal infections. For example, like trichomonasis, in that condition the pH will be acidic. It will not be, it will not be acidic. So a nitrogen test will give some um, red or the orange uh, line okay the range of the acidic pH while false negative mean uh, the, if there is uh, some sample of the amniotic fluid that is remote rupture premature rupture of amniotic membrane with no residual fluid or minimal amniotic fluid leakage so I have a test result of that so here we can see that here is the nitrazine paper testing. The vaginal pH is normally 3.5 to 4.5. So after taking the sample from the vaginal secretion, if you put the secretion on the litmus paper, that is the nitrazine paper, the nitrazine paper turn into blue color because of the higher pH or basic nature of the amniotic fluid. So 93.3% sensitivity and false positive is 1 to 17% for the urine, blood, semen and BV and trichomonasis. Thank you.